feel like I need to like get up and like stand for a little bit and not sit down. I take my computer and I come into the kitchen because the counter is tall enough so that you know, I'm not slouching over to like type or anything and I'm up on my feet. So I'm not stationary the entire day. So we're here now. <laughs> It's a white. Keeps her excited. Oh, this is so mm. Chili. Pour some sugar on me. You gotta sing the song. Ooh. Oh, what are they? S'mores. Ooh. Mint marshmallow is drenched in premium milk chocolate, then rolled in crushed graham cracker. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They're interesting. Mm hmm. How'd they do that? That tastes like a s'more. Yeah. Wait, that's so good. Ah, the oh, roses. roses. Oh, my favorite still. Mmm. Yep, that's that's you. Mm. <laughs> Things that follow in the little short that they do for this advent calendar they have um chewbacca's family there and one of them actually like attempts to eat this little guy but then he spits it out <laughs> and there he is tiny little fella is that your bark box It's Bark Box and Peanuts. Look at her. Ooh. Oh, it's Snoopy in the doghouse. Oh, he comes out. Oh, it's Snoopy. Yeah. Yeah. Happiness is a warm puppy. Good grief. Oh, look at that one stuff too. Mia. She also got Linus. Oh my goodness, how many tools? I got her the deluxe box. I uh, can't. Yeah, that's Linus. Okay, what treats do you have? Lucy's pulled pork. You love, yeah, you love your pork. Oh, you have these chew bars. Good, good, good beef. That's what mommy got a kick out of. <laughs> you love your beef. And then what's this? Franklin's Famous Lamb Chops. It's a lamb recipe. You're into the toys. And then... This is too many treats. Oh my word. Linus's Lamb Jerky. <laughs> Oh, you got yeah, you got him! <laughs> you were really intrigued by this one. It's a talking bubble. Nice. I think that's so cute. Oh! That's the thumbnail. Yeah. I gotta take the tag off it. Yeah. Here, let me take the tag off him. Ooh, you're like Woodstock, huh? These are cute. They're very cute. There you go. <gasps> we love you. Yeah, we love you. Y'all know what time it is. What time? <laughs> this is the Australian wine that we got in yesterday's box. It is a 2019 and it is a red. 
I'm just doing a little taste test. Ooh. It's like a, like a purpley color. Oh, cheers. That's good. It's a little tart, but it's good. So it's a little past 10 o'clock now, and I'm sitting down to go edit this vlog, but I got a comment on my last vlog, which was day 11, day 11, geez. Um, and it was, um, it was talking about me doing a like budgeting video, like budgeting advice video. As much as I would love to give budgeting advice, I don't think I'm necessarily good at budgeting. <laughs> I have a like shopaholic mentality, so I have been online shopping like crazy and it's been pretty bad to the point where like I'm pretty low on my savings. So I guess I'll kind of talk about like what I've been trying to do to get back on track. So I purchased this bullet journal and this is specifically just for my finances and I talk a little bit more about it on my blog I'm kristenmerlin.com so you could go check that out there but I'll talk a little bit about it. So in the middle of November is when I decided to start this bullet journal like finance expense tracker type thing and this month I'm actually putting it into good use in November since it was like mid-month I didn't really get much use out of it. Actually, I didn't get any use out of it, but this is kind of a little overview. So this over here is an expense tracker. So every time you make a purchase or you pay a bill or something, that would go here. And then at the top, it says fund, and it's like two different ones that I have right now. I have an emergency fund, which I think is super important to have an emergency fund. So I'm starting on that first, but then I also have to save up for an apartment because someday I would like to, you know, leave the nest. <laughs> so then that's the first page with the cover page. Then the next page is, I don't want to show you numbers, <laughs> but this page is um, all of my monthly expenses, all of my bills. So I have like credit card payments, my student loans, um, my Amazon Prime membership, uh, things like that. And then I have the date in the next column. And then I have, I actually did it a little bit differently in December. I have, I believe, the amount that needs to be paid. And then I have a little box that uh, you check off when it's paid. And then I have a note section. So like, I could say it was paid on this date or I have it for like, this was the minimum payment, but I paid this amount. But um, that's really what I've been doing budgeting wise. Um, and it's been helping so far. I mean, December has been kind of a eh month because of course we it's the holidays and you know, we're buying presents for our loved ones and everything. So I think one of the things that helped me the most was figuring out like what categories I spend the most in and then seeing how I can cut some things out. So I realized that I had a lot of subscriptions. So I've been cutting down on my subscriptions. I've ended a couple um, and I'm looking into consolidating some of them because some of them, like for example, uh, let's see, Hulu and Disney Plus, you could get a bundle with them that would be a, a like a, a perfect thing to get instead of paying Disney Plus and Hulu separate, just combine them together. One of the things I would give advice on, which I think everybody can find this useful, write down the things that you need, the necessary things to live, and then put what you want and prioritize. I think that that's a, a great way to start. Do I need Starbucks every morning? No. 
it's a nice thing to have, but I don't need it every morning. So I would cut back there. Um, do I need my Amazon Prime? I do, because I actually get my groceries off of there through Whole Foods, and I get free shipping every time. So I feel like that's beneficial. I am going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a pretty good ride. Um, I have about a week and a half left of work. Yay. Um, and we have like half of Vlogmas left. Insane. I'm very proud that I've been uploading every single day. I'm very proud of myself. Thank you guys for watching all these vlogs and for the support. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.